the State v. Richard Alexander Murdoch, Defendant, Indictment for Murder, SC Code 16-3-0010, CDR Code 0116, Verdict Guilty. Now, the nation was riveted by the story for all the reasons you'd expect. It was a prominent Southern family, two murders, big money, drugs, and, of course, mystery. Alec Murdoch was eventually placed at the scene of his wife and son's killing by an audio recording from his dead son's phone. But now, Murdoch's attorneys say that he deserves a new trial because of jury tampering, allegedly by the clerk that you just heard reading the verdict. That the clerk of court would go in to the sanctity of the jury room before he testified and tell the jurors, don't be fooled by his testimony, watch out for his body language, and if that is true, which we have every reason to believe that it is, and no reason to believe that it's not, there's no choice but the courts to grant a new trial. Joining me now, Martha McCallum, anchor and executive editor of The Story. She just spoke with Murdoch's surviving son, Buster, for her new Fox Nation series, The Fall of the House of Murdoch, available now on Fox Nation. All right, Martha, this is wild. Um, what else mm -hmm. did Murdoch's attorneys claim that this clerk did. I know there was a Facebook uh, reference and juror 630. Yeah. I'm devouring all this information, but tell us. Yeah, you know, we always knew that Dick Harputlian and Jim Griffin were going to appeal this case, Laura. They said that as soon as it was over. But I think what we didn't expect, we thought it was going to be along the lines of the judge allowing all of these financial improprieties to be part of this murder case. But what we got today was something completely different, and it was based on Becky Hill's book. She released a book of her inside story of this case. She really became kind of a character in this whole case and the narrative of it. So she released this book. And and it talked a lot about what happened behind the scenes. And that gave Harputlian and Griffin an open door. So they started going through that door based on things that she said, like this, for example. We all remember, Laura, when they went to the scene of the crime right before they started deliberating. She says, when all of us at the, from the courthouse, law enforcement, or the jury went to Moselle, we had an epiphany. And we shared our thoughts with our eyes. At that moment, any of us standing there knew. I knew and they knew that Alex was guilty. OK? So she's talking about communication between the jurors. There's two jurors who say that, who told Harputlian and Griffin, they knocked on every juror's door. They said most of them wouldn't talk to them. But two of them say that she indicated to them, don't be fooled by Alec Murdoch. Wow. She also indicated to them, according to their sworn testimony, look, this isn't going to take long. And then they also say that she wouldn't allow them to take smoke breaks during deliberations, that they couldn't smoke until they were done. Now, this is their side of the story. <laughs> we'll see what happens when we hear the other side of the story. It could be very, very different. But this is what we got today from the defense attorneys, Laura. And isn't there a claim also that a juror was dismissed for on, yes. on uh, incorrect grounds? That's another claim that they're making? Yeah. This is a wild story. This juror, uh, the, the story is from the defense that Becky Hill moved to have a juror removed because she saw something on Facebook that said that the juror's ex-husband was indicating how this juror felt about the case. She went to Judge Newman. They hashed it out. They ended up removing this person from the case. But Griffin claims that the post was not from her ex-husband at all. She hadn't communicated with him in 14 years <laughs> and that she was removed improperly from this case. But, you know, as you know better than anyone, Laura, um, we're, we're still going to wait to hear. And there's absolutely crickets coming from the prosecution so far. They say, we're going to wait, we're going to review all of this and see what it is. But this, this case was a huge loss for Dick Carpootlian and Jim Griffin. They are mm. very big attorneys in this part of the world. And the fact that this thing turned on them in three hours after they went into deliberations, I, you know, they have been scrambling to figure out a way to turn this thing around. But they may have touched on something that might actually work and produce another trial. And she may have an FBI investigation into her, Becky Hill, because part of this is a federal prosecution request or investigation request of potential criminal acts of tampering with a jury. And if you want to see Martha's full, the fall of the House of Murdoch special on Fox Nation, it is fantastic. It's available now. Martha, mm -hmm. so great to see you. So thank you so much. 
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.